YouTubers. Uh, today we are going to do the Marie Kondo bathroom challenge and I'm so excited. Um, I love Marie Kondo and I know everybody's saying that, oh, it's so obvious, but if you watch the video, you'll get it. Just watch the first episode and I bet you anything you'll get it. It's so cool to see what it does to people's lives. Um, and I would not be doing this without her. She's inspired me to do my whole closet and my whole kitchen. And uh, today we're gonna do our bathroom and it's been nagging me for weeks. And so um, we are gonna go ahead, so let's go. Look how horrible it is. <laughs> this is my, my one cabinet in my bathroom and it looks horrible. And um, this is my kitchen, or my bathroom counters. And basically what happened is that my whole family found out that I was really into like skincare stuff. And so they all gifted me stuff for skincare and now I just have way too much of it and I don't use half of it. So um, we are going to have to get rid of it, some of it today. So yeah. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is take every single thing out of our bathroom and um, put it in one big pile and this is just going to help give us an idea of how bad we are, I guess. Um, so let's, I'm going to go ahead and, oh my gosh you guys, it's so sad, look how much stuff was in that tiny little bathroom. It's like, it's like it puked on my carpet. I was gonna clean the bathroom first, but now I have to, I can't even like get in and out of the bathroom now, so um, I'm just gonna sort everything first, and um, and then we'll clean after that. <laughs> Jesus. See, it's really important. This is why it's important, you know? This is, this is, this is why we take everything out first. Oh, my dog is like, please let me in. So now we're going to go through everything and we need to hold everything in our hands and we need to decide if it's something that makes us joyful or if it's something that just doesn't. And anything that doesn't we're going to thank for everything it did for us and then we're going to throw it away. So my husband and I stole this on from the hotel that we had our honeymoon night in and it like squirts water out of the little hole in his head right here and brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> so this is everything that is left and it looks way more manageable. So and now I can finally start cleaning so I'm going to go ahead and start that. So now we're going to start organizing all of our stuff for under our sink in the little containers and I found some Ooh, those are super cute ones from Walmart. And these were, what, $7, $6? It's like if you're gonna have storage, you might as well make it look good, and especially when you can do it for super cheap. So I made one caddy that's basically all my stuff, and then I made one caddy that's all the stuff that's normally on our counter. And look at our counter. and my gloves, which we're gonna put away. But I have not seen the top of my counter in like, since I moved in basically. So very happy about that. So I have been able to enjoy my bathroom for a whole day and it just feels so much nicer. And then you just, so much more relaxing to be in that room knowing that that little thing in my head isn't nagging me that this needs to be done. Um, so thank you, a big, big thank you to Marie Kondo for inspiring me and millions of others in this endeavor. And um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch me next time.